Hello YouTube, Magma Rhino here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to um, unbrick slash unroot your AC's transformer. Now unfortunately if you're watching this, it means you screwed up. And now that your tablet isn't doing much, uh, it pretty much can't be used for anything more than a paperweight. Um, so first of all, what you're going to want to do is plug it in. Now, if it's bricked and if it won't turn on, you probably won't be able to see the memory like I can here. Um, but if you can see this, or if uh, it's not bricked, you just want to unroot, um, or you're trying to root it and you updated it too recently, um, then you know you're gonna plug it in. You're gonna see these. You're gonna want to back up your internal storage because this process will wipe it completely. Uh, it'll just leave these default folders, which are built in pretty much. Um, and then you're also gonna want to use the app backup app to back up all of the app data. Um, that's on your transformer, obviously. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, look up another tutorial because I'm not doing that now. So basically, you want to uh, back up both of these. How you do that? You just copy all these, paste them um, in your computer somewhere where you can find them. All right. Now, once you've done that, you're going to go into your kit, and um, this is going to be updated. This is supposed to be 9.2.1.17, so don't worry about that. It's going to change uh, by the time this video is over. You're going to go into this unbreaking section, click on this one. All right. Now, once you get to here, you're going to have to listen. And what I'm going to do now is, in case people don't have their volume up, I'm just going to send them a message telling them that they must turn up their volume. Um, just because I don't want anybody being like, I screwed up, I didn't know what to do, and it's not working. Turn up your volume if it isn't up already. Very important. Listen. I don't care if you're in school, if you're at work, um, get headphones or something or listen to this at home. Because uh, this is important. On your transformer, while it's either on or off, what you're going to do is you're going to hold the volume up and the power button. It has to be plugged in. Hold both of these for about 15 seconds. You're going to hear some noises on the computer, uh, like the little bing down, bing up thing. Uh, just keep holding it for like 15 seconds, and then once you get there, you can let go. Alright, so I'm going to hold it for about 5 more seconds. Alright, my volume's down, so I can't tell if it did a little bling or not. Um, and that is good, so right about now. So just make sure you hold it long enough. If you didn't, no big deal. Um, it will basically tell you. Alright, now in here, you're going to go to this one, the download batch file. Um, it's a Windows batch file, just says download. You're going to run it. And right here, there's no going back. This is going to wipe your internal memory, wipe your system, wipe everything, and uh, reinstall the default stuff. Uh, it's going to actually reinstall Honeycomb, um, and that's why I have this here because we're going to have to um, manually install the most recent version um, because over the air updates don't work after doing this process until you manually install one version and then the over the air updates will work fine um, but as you can see here you'll know if it works if all this comes up if oh stop scrolling if up here it uh just stays at those top two lines and it never goes farther that means that you are not in APX mode, which is basically when you hold the volume up and power button. And it means you just have to hold volume up and power button longer, and then it'll work. Um, but that's pretty much it. So what you're going to do now is wait for this to finish. It's going to say sending all these files over, blah, 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 all that stuff. Um, so you can just minimize it. You can go and play Minecraft, because I know that's what you want to do. I know it's the cracked version. I'm sorry if you feel offended. Um, but I'm fine find the full version soon. Anyway here you can see it is sending the system file which is the huge one. That one's going to take the longest. Uh, but once that's all done, um, it's pretty much done. Your tablet will reboot on its own and at that point you will be back to Honeycomb. It should be booting up if it wasn't before um, and you should have absolutely no problems, nothing installed on there. You'll just have to go through the setup process like your tablet's brand new. Alright and I'm going to come back to you guys once this is done. So, uh, BRB. I gotta figure out how to pause this, so this is awkward. Here we go. Alright guys, uh, I'm just gonna show you right now, in case you do not have the US Transformer, um, if you're in a different country, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to ASUS's website, uh, go to whatever country you happen to be from, 
Oh, by the way, my thing is done right now. As you can see, the batch file closed. My tablet's rebooting, although you can't see that. I never actually got to play Minecraft. Kind of a disappointment. Um, <laughs> it actually, uh, the process was quicker than I thought. Um, you're gonna go to Products, Tablets, uh, TF101. My computer's lagging like crazy. Let me close this uh, a little better. All right, you're gonna come down here to Download. Here, Android. All right, uh, firmware. And see, this is the most recent version as of now, 9.2.1.21. You do not want to update to that if you plan on rooting, because um, the root version that I have, which is like the simplest root I've ever seen ever, it does not work with this most recent update for some reason, don't know why. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to the 9.2.1.17. All right, um, so there's uh, China, Worldwide, US, uh, Denmark. I believe, and uh, Taiwan, maybe? I, I don't know, I'm sorry, I don't know what the uh, little abbreviations are. So what I'm going to do right now, whoops, is I'm going to download the US one, just click on the global thing in the middle, otherwise it makes you like make an account or something weird like that. And I'm going to be right back when this is done downloading, so that I can uh, flash it to my tablet. I'm also going to go through the setup process on my tablet. Alright, so I'll see you in a second. Okay, so me being the dummy that I am, I forgot I already have this file on my transformer. Um, so I'm actually going to kind of walk you through how to do it right now. Um, so first of all, you're going to have to open up two of these. It doesn't matter what they are for now, um, because you're going to have to, you know, guide through them. On this side, you're actually going to want to have your memory card. You cannot go through your transformer. Um, so I, this isn't the right memory card, but let's just pretend it is. So as you can see, SD card H drive. Uh, this will be the micro SD, so you need that little SD card size adapter. Um, and then over here you're going to go to your the download of the 9.2.1.17 file. Alright, so I think this is done now. Yep. So you're going to go ahead and drag this into your SD card, your micro SD card that is. You're going to wait for it to copy over. Oops, postpone. Um, also on your tablet, oh right, you didn't update it yet. No, neither did I. Whoa. Okay, over the air appears to be working. Um, that's that's odd. I don't know. Usually when you do this process, because I've done it like ten times, unfortunately, um, the over the air update doesn't work, and it doesn't actually work until you force update it. Um, but if you do have an over the air update, you don't have a uh, micro SD card adapter or an SD card, and you don't feel like rooting or whatever like that, you can just do the over the air update if that's available. But if you do want to root, this is very important that you get the 9.2.1.17 version. Alright, now once this transfers over, you're going to unzip it. So we just hit extract all. Extract them all right there. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, this is going to take half an hour. Anyway, once you unzip it, you're going to have this zipped folder, this unzipped folder. You can delete this zipped one. You don't need it anymore. You're going to come into here. Take this guy, control X to cut, back out, and then paste it here. This is going to yell at me because uh, I'm currently doing that. But basically, I hope you get the idea. You're going to go into this file, and you are going to take out this, and you're going to paste it in the root of your SD card, uh, which is just right here. Now once that's done, you can erase the other two guys that have the update launcher and just leave the one that says US EPED 9.2.1.17 and leave that zipped. Alright, then what you're going to do is you're going to turn on your transformer, make sure it's awake, and you're going to plug in your SD card with the update file. Once you do that, in the bottom right hand corner of your device, there will be a little triangle with an exclamation point, and it'll say system update file detected. You're going to touch that, um, it's going to say select the update package, you'll just hit OK. Uh, it'll say you have to have some battery life left. Hit OK again, and then it will power it off and start updating it. So that's what I'm doing now, and that's all that you have to do. Uh, once this is done updating, you will be to the almost most recent firmware update. And from there, what you can do is you can root it very simply uh, using my root method. It's called Viper Mod Prime Time. I didn't actually make it, I just use it all the time. Um, but that will be a different video. It will actually probably be out before this one or after. I don't know. 
stop asking me questions. That's it for this video. Hopefully you found it very helpful if you had accidentally uh, bricked your transformer or if you wanted to update it and you weren't able to any of that shenanigans. Um, also, if you when you go to update it, it just goes black and it doesn't update. All you have to do is hold the power button. It's kind of strange for some reason. Uh, that's that's what happens after you use this unbrick method. It's a little strange at first until you update it. But once you update it, perfectly fine, not a problem. And it should be working just as good as it has before. Um, it'll actually clear out all your garbage folders that are in your internal memory. So that's kind of a positive. Um, so, you know, just make sure you back it up if you can. Blah, 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 you get the idea. So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Let me write something here. Uh, thanks for watching. Alright, never mind. This is really fun. I didn't know I could do this. Alright, I'm getting distracted. Uh, <laughs> that's it. I'm gonna use this in the next video, because this is fun. Um, so thank you. I hope this helped you if you did accidentally brick it. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to message me, send a comment, blah, 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 whatever you want to do. It's all good with me. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you later.